Hey guys, this is a quick 10 minute workout for your knees and your hips to help start off your morning. You're gonna feel a lot better by the end of this. Your knees aren't gonna feel as stiff. Your hips, your back, even your feet are going to feel a lot better. And this is something that you can do with zero equipment and no yoga experience. We're gonna get started in a low lunge. Follow me, do your best. So right leg forward, left leg back. Go ahead and release that left knee down to the ground. If that's uncomfortable for the knee, you can slide a cushion or a pillow underneath your knee. Allow your hips to sink forward here, but I want you to think keeping your ribs lifted up and away from the hips. You should feel a really nice stretch to the front of your left hip flexors, or the front of your left hip, your hip flexors, as you hold this pose. If you want to add a little bit more uh, to this, you can lift your arms overhead and get a little bit of opening for your chest and shoulders. Deep breath in and out of the nose. I'd recommend holding this for at least 30 seconds. We're going to hold it for about 45 in this routine. And as you exhale, maybe you can feel yourself going deeper into the stretch. So we want to make sure that we choose a depth that we're not feeling super tense. You should feel relaxed. should feel like your muscles can ease into it. And that's going to help you uh, notice the difference from start to finish. All right, go ahead and relax. We'll switch sides, left leg forward, right leg back. Keep your hips under your shoulders. Allow your hips to sink forward and down, using your breath to help you. So as you inhale, you want to think about resetting your posture. Get nice and tall, filling up as much as you can with air. And as you exhale, release. Allow your hips to come forward. Feel that deepening stretch through the front of your right hips as you go deeper. You can bring the arms up just like you did before. That's gonna add just a little bit more strength to this. But if you're feeling a little more energy, you can relax your hands on your thigh instead. Whatever feels good for you, we just really wanna focus, for the purpose of a morning routine, we wanna focus on body awareness, we wanna focus on breathing, and just working a little bit deeper into your flexibility. One more breath here. All right, from here we're gonna move up into a wide-legged forward fold position. So stand with your feet about five feet or a little bit wider apart. Turn your toes slightly in. Push into the outer edges of your feet. Bend your knees slightly. Hug your thighs toward one another. And then hinging at your hips, Go ahead and bring your chest toward the ground. Make sure that your back stays flat here. So if you look at me from the side, you want to make sure that you're not making a C shape with your back. So it helps to bend your knees. You can relax your hands on your shins. If you can touch your fingertips to the ground, you can do that. But our goal here is to stretch your inner thighs and your hamstrings. I like to think about keeping the chest pulling forward and up. Breathing in and out of the nose, just like we do in all the poses. And you're going to feel your knees, your ankles, your hips, and even your back start to loosen up as you do this stretch. This is a great one to hold for, again, 30, 45, 60 seconds. We're going to be here for two more breaths. Try to make your breathing four count in, four count out if you can, and longer if you can do that. All right, go ahead and come up. From here, we're going to move into a warrior one stance. By the way, stick around to the end. We've got a really great stretch to help finish this off and make sure your back and hips uh, stay nice and mobile for the rest of the day. So right leg forward, left leg back, pointed out 45 degrees. You want to square your hips toward the front the best you can. You're going to bend your front knee forward. Make sure it tracks over your middle toes. Bring your hands on either side of your front foot, and then keeping your chest touching your thigh, so you're bending that knee as much as you need to, you're gonna straighten that leg until you feel a stretch through the back of your right thigh. So this is a hamstring stretch. Um, if you sit at a desk a lot, right, you're gonna have tight hamstrings. If you sit on the couch a lot, if you just generally don't move a lot, you're gonna have tight hamstrings. And you might have tight hamstrings because your hamstrings are weak. So a lot of people, um, that's also the case. Anyways, we're here for about 45 seconds. You want to keep your spine nice and long. Make sure you're not creating a C shape with the spine. 
You should be able to breathe normally in and out of your nose. If this is too hard to get your fingers on the ground doing the stretch, you can bring your hands up to your thigh like this. That's going to make it a, a lot easier. And again, just breathe in and out of your nose. Feel the stretch to the back of your leg. You can do this. It's just your body weight. And your knees, your back are really going to thank you at the end of this pose and at the end of this routine if you can do it. One more breath. And then from here, you're going to bend that knee forward, knee on top of the ankle and the front foot. You're going to lift your arms up overhead into a warrior one. So from here, you're going to push your back hip toward your front knee. You're going to feel your groin stretching as you do that. And you want to check in with your back foot here. Make sure you're pushing into the outer edge of the back foot and kind of creating a bit of a shadow between the arch of your foot and the ground, grabbing the ground with your toes, pushing the heel down. So we're keeping that back leg active. Arms are up. It's, I like to think keeping a line from my left knee all the way up through my right shoulder across my body. And that's just going to help create a little more opening for your hips. <coughs> secret to having healthy knees is supporting the areas around the knees. So the ankles, the hips, the core, most of us, the big problem area is the hips because we're sitting, we're just not doing enough with the body. One more breath. And then relax. Go ahead and switch sides, left leg forward, right leg back. Again, point that back foot out 45 degrees. Start with your hands on either side of the front foot, knees bent, or the front knee bent. And then as you exhale, straighten that leg until you feel a stretch through the back of the thigh. You want to choose an intensity that's manageable. So don't go straight to your end range of motion. Don't push yourself to your max range immediately. Just go until you feel a nice, comfortable stretch. And then every progressive breath, every breath after that, maybe going a little bit deeper into that stretch. But that's how we're going to get more flexible, is by working into it. Not going to the end range immediately and then gritting our teeth and holding it, but using your breath, using the exhale to help work deeper into it. Here for about 20 more seconds. Again, modifications here. You can bend your knee more. You can bring your hands on top of the thigh. If you have yoga blocks, you can put those on either side of the front foot. So it doesn't really matter what your flexibility level is. You should be able to find a modification here that works for you. All right, we got one more breath. And then release. All right, guys, we've got one more stretch here. This is called a reclined figure four. I'm going to also show you a modification uh, so that if you're more flexible, you can do that other variation as well. So you're going to lie down on your back for this, and this is probably one of the more important stretches that you can do for your hips and your knees, especially if you sit a lot. You're going to cross your right foot over your left thigh, making that figure four with your right leg, and then reach through your threading your leg, grab the back of the thigh, hold that pulling lightly in toward your chest. You don't want to pull it in and crank it in because you don't want to force this knee in. So focus on externally rotating this hip, turning your knee to face out, lightly holding onto the back of the thigh. Flex your toes toward your shin, so you're actually both feet, but in particular, flexing your right toes toward the shin, and then breathing in and out of the nose. You're going to feel the stretch to the outer thigh and your glute. This is a variation if you're new or less flexible. If you are more flexible, what you can do here is a full pigeon. So you're going to bring your right knee outside the right hip. Your heel is going to stay closer to the groin if you're less flexible or further away from the groin, closer to 90 degrees, uh, parallel to the top of the mat if you're more flexible. And then swing your left leg back, making sure that the left leg is facing the ground. Hug your legs toward one another. Pull your chest forward and up. And then work on shifting the weight into your hips. That might ha happen immediately. It does take some time. So whichever variation you chose, you're going to be here for about a minute. If you're still holding that recline figure four, great. You probably need it. And if you haven't done this before, it's going to feel really intense. So just work on breathing through it. It's going to be over before you know it. 
And instead of trying to shy away from the stretch, I want you to use your exhale to kind of release into the stretch. And that's what's going to help you make progress. All right, go ahead and relax. We're going to switch sides. So you're going to cross your left foot over your right thigh now. Grab the back of your right thigh. Hold it in nice and tight. Flex your toes toward your shin. <coughs> Work on pointing your left knee to the outside. Breathe in and out of your nose. Again, you're going to feel the stretch in the outer hip and your glute. Try to keep your chest slightly lifted here. And this is the first modification. And if you're more flexible and you want to do the full pigeon, again, the left knee is going to come outside the hip. You're going to bring your heel closer in toward your groin if you're tighter, further away. If you're more flexible, and then crawl that right leg back, doing your best to shift your weight toward your hips. It helps to hug your legs in toward the middle as you're holding this. And keep length through the front of your torso. Breathe in and out through your nose. And remember, you want to work into the stretch. Don't try to shy away from it. A couple more breaths here. This is one where you really have to hold it for at least 45 or 60 seconds for it to work. And in general, as you get older, you get stiffer. It takes longer time to stretch, so just keep that in mind. All right, go ahead and come out of that. Guys, if you like that, I have a whole morning routine series that you can check out here for free on YouTube. You can check out our first episode of that by clicking over here. And if you like this video, be sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have a question or some feedback, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know as soon as new videos go live. All right, guys, that's it. See you in the next one.